four, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a little one. But There's a, some big ones over there. Yeah, big ones over there. The ginseng naturalized here, self-seeded and reproduces itself. That's why this little guy here probably Leaflets are not coming out at the same place. This is palmately compound, this one, the ginseng, and this is pinnately compound, the sarsaparilla, really a new decalus. It's like flagination? No. Notice these two leaves, there's a stalk mm -hmm. separating them, whereas yeah. on the ginseng, they uh, all oh, oh, okay. come out of the same place. Oh, I got gotcha. you. But the, the, vena the toothing, the color is a little different, undersurface color is mm -hmm. the same. The leaves are a little, although this varies so much. I've seen ginseng where the leaves are almost completely round. These are more lanceolate, mm -hmm. but I've seen egg-shaped leaves and also almost round leaves. Whereas sarsaparilla, they're almost always that particular shape. Mm -hmm. But again, the giveaway is, again, palmately compound, all five coming mm -hmm. out of the same, mm -hmm. pinnately, oh, okay. come, you know, basically two coming out here. And this is, is a clonal. This. Uh, this basically is attached to a rhizome that goes to another one, that goes to another okay. one, that goes to another one. So ginseng only. That's smart thing for the size of this one. Oh my God. Really a huge, huge ginseng. But it, didn't, it lost its rhizome. It didn't come up for a number of years. You almost got to sense which way, which direction the root's going to grow underground. You got to feel for it, and you got to got to be able to tell the difference between a tree root, which you can break, and a ginseng root, which you don't want to break. But they feel different, so. Ginseng leaf. Tell how it feels. Mm -hmm. It won't come out unless you break the tree roots. Scientifically indexed here. <laughs> oh, I put that nail there. Yeah. yeah and it's got a code on it. 61. Or 19. <laughs> or 79. You got glasses? Yep. I got mine too, but I can't try to figure out what that says. Let me see. I think it says. I think it says 19. 19, yeah. Now this is a monstrous big ginseng root. As you can see just from as much as I've exposed there. You yeah. can see that I stuck it in the ground. That's why this root got bent and that grows all the way up there. So that's probably a root that was 20 years old. I guess that's a North Carolina 20 year old root. And I planted it. Now, Do you want to put this back in there? Yeah. Here. What do you mean by indicator? When you see that, you can. Blue cohosh. That's a pretty good indicator of, of ginseng. What about this? That's a big ginseng plant there, yeah. Is this the little one? Yeah. This is Sweet Sicily, which is another pretty good ginseng indicator. Yeah, here's, a, here's the first row in here. So that would be Kentucky. And. Looks like from Kentucky. I don't know the name there. Yeah, this is Jensen. Yes, it's Jensen. So it looks like there's either these two or either.